seven valleys of sufis or seven valleys of meditation the second is valley of repentance when you start looking at who you are naturally great repentance arises because of all that you have done wrong all that moments of unconsciousness all that you have done and should not have done you start feeling repentance so a great peak comes with consciousness and suddenly with consciousness a conscience arises remember the conscience that you have is not the true it is given to you by the society society decides what is right and what is wrong this we call moral society decides the definition of moral and immoral you do not know exactly what is moral and what is immoral but after crossing the first valley the valley of knowledge you will be able to know exactly what is right and what is wrong and then suddenly you will see what wrong you have done how many people you have been hurting how saddest you have been with others how messages you have been with yourself and how destructive violent aggressive angry and jealous you have been up to now all this will come to your vision that is quite natural when you become conscious and consciousness arises in you this conscience has nothing to do with the ordinary conscience that you have that is borrowed that is imposed on you by the society by the norms by the religion and all that is superficial that is given to you by the society all that is outside you so you can have it and still it does not hurt it does not give pain so real that you can be transformed through it you only know what is right yet still you go on doing the wrong you go on do whatever you want to do your knowledge of the right does not create any transformation in you you know that anger is bad yet still you remain angry on the other hand you know that anger is bad and you see no problem possessiveness is not good still you go on holding and possessing you start not only possessing things alone instead you even start possessing person you consider children as your property your spouse as your property you possess your wife your husband and your children as if they are things and can be possessed you destroy everyone through your possessiveness although you know it is wrong this borrowed conscience never helps it simply burdens you this borrowed conscience never helps it simply burdens you with the first valley crossed your own conscience arises now you know exactly what is wrong and it becomes impossible to do otherwise this is the point where socrates dictum becomes meaningful that knowledge is virtue this is the positive aspect still there are negative aspects of this valley of repentance the negative part is that you may become too worried about the guilt concerning the past you have done this wrong and that wrong and now you have been doing millions of wrongs you have been unconscious here for so long that if you start counting all of that it creates a kind of morbidness you will become so guilty that rather than growing you will start falling into great darkness so if guilt arises you become morbid and too troubled by the past you will remain in the second valley you will not be able to cross this valley if the past becomes too important as normally is the case then naturally you will be continuously crying and lamenting what wrong have i been doing the positive part is that you should become concerned with now and here not with the past yes you have noted that you have been wrong but that was natural because you are unconscious in a state of unconsciousness many such things happen the most important part is that now 
the ray of light has come, the dawn of awakening is there and there can be no more wrongs now. So there is no need to feel guilty. How could one be right when one was unconscious? You have taken note of it. Your whole past has been wrong. However, this does not create a burden for you. You take note of it. That taking note of all that you have done in the past, remembering it, it will help you because you will not be able to do it again. Now consciousness is there, the light has come, the awakening is there, the understanding is there and when light is there, there can be no more darkness. That taking note helps you because you will not be able to do it again. You are finished with it. You feel sad that you have been hurting so many people in so many ways. But you feel joyous as well simultaneously because now it will not happen anymore. You are freed from the past and the guilt that arises out of that. You don't become concerned about it. Now you become concerned with the present moment. And if the present moment, the now is lived full of awareness, then out of that, whatever evolves will be the ultimate good. If the new opening is there, now you have your own conscience. Now, and that conscience is your consciousness. But remember you had a past. So in relation to that, I am speaking of conscience. But then this conscience is removed or replaced with consciousness. You are awakened. The signs of consciousness are breathing into you. And soon they will start flapping. Now the future is going to be totally different because the now is being lived with awareness. It will be qualitatively different and radically different as well. You will be thrilled with adventure. Now you have your own consciousness and your consciousness will never allow you to do anything wrong again. It is not that you will have to control. When the consciousness dawns or arises, there is no need to control, no need to discipline. The right becomes natural and spontaneous. Then the easy is the right and right is the easy. In fact, once the consciousness has risen in you, if you want to do wrong, you will have to make great effort to do it. And even then there is not much possibility of succeeding in any way. Without consciousness, you have to make much effort to be right. Then, and even then you do not succeed, you falter. So one is thrilled, one feels sad for the past. But that is no longer. So there is no need to be repenting. There is no need to be burdened for it any longer. Because the past is no more. And that is the positive. One feels that transformation has happened. Blessing has arrived. God has given you the greatest gift of awareness. Now your life will move in a totally new dimension. A new track. This is where in your terminology... In your terminology, it can be said now the real morality is born in you as virtue. This will be erroneous to say this is morality, this is virtue. This is the outcome of consciousness. That taking note helps you because you will not be able to do it again. This is taking note is nothing else but mindfulness or being alert and awake. You are finished with it. You feel sad that you have been hurting so many people in so many ways, but you feel joyous also simultaneously because now it will not happen anymore. You have been freed of the past and all that guilt that arises out of this. You don't become concerned about it. You will become concerned about the present moment, living the present moment full of awareness and awakening. This is the new opening. This is the valley of repentance, the second one.